Hello, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started, I just wanna remind you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you never miss any of my content. I'm bringing you this wig review today for pinkypromise.com. We're gonna take a look at this brand new Ellen Villa style from their Hair Power Collection for 2023. This is music and the color on this one is metallic blonde rooted and I think it is fabulous. More on her in just a minute. Okay, as you can tell from the intro, I am pretty excited about this style. <laughs> this is just one of those like ba 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 boom. Wow. I feel fabulous. I feel gorgeous in this wig styles. And this color is so unique. It is so interesting. Metallic blonde rooted. It has some silver here on the nape on the underside and then blonde and white over the top of that. It's just gorgeous. Is it a blonde? A 101. Yeah, it does have a blonde in it. So, um, I mean, I'm kind of like, am I seeing white? Am I seeing blonde? What am I seeing? And then it has a an ash brown root, which looks darker in here. But when we get outside, you'll see that it's not as dark as it looks inside, but really complementary to the rest of the colors. So, of course, we'll get into the color in a minute. But I just think the color is so cool and the style is gorgeous. So these are their high heat, heat friendly fibers. So... I want you to keep this, you know, with you and comb out your nape frequently, 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 because I'm finding that I'm already getting some tangles. Just having her brush on my clothing, I've only worn her, just, just put her on out of the box, you know, got the part open. That's all I've done with her. Haven't been outside or anything, and I'm already getting some tangling. Heat-friendly fibers and long wigs, of course, you know, tend to tangle. So you're just going to want to keep those little tangles out with this straight style. You'll be able to use your flat iron at about 300 degrees and iron those little frizzies out. I recommend that you, you may need to do that after the first time you wear it to maintain these fibers. So stay on top of it and you can get a light, you know, a longer lifespan out of these types of wigs. But if you let them get too, cr you know, too crunchy, you're gonna have more of a problem with uh, fixing that problem. So um, very, very pretty. I'll do a turn and then we'll get into all of her specs. So she's so low density, so natural. I just love, I love the cut. The fibers are gorgeous. The color's so pretty. I love this little swoop, you know, layer here at the front. Oh, it's just so pretty. Now, of course you could shorten that and add a bang if you want to. It's a 10 inch layer there on the front, but um, gosh, just so pretty. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. So this is their comfort cap. So she has a mono part that goes just about to the crown, pretty much to the crown. And then this section up here is hand tied, but you're not gonna wanna part on this section. You're gonna wanna stick with your monofilament. So uh, the knotting on the hand tied part is gonna be a little larger there. So um, the knotting is gonna look best on your mono part here on the left. So, and then she has a lace front, really nice extended, I believe. Yes, extends down onto the ear tabs. Sometimes I put them on so fast, I don't examine the cap close enough, but yes, extended lace front giving you that true past your temple, temple to temple coverage, really nice. Looks great on this color. Then I've got great coverage around the face at the ear tabs as well. This is fitting me like a petite. Um, this is considered to be petite average, so fits me nicely. I have my 11 inches ear to ear, it fits me nicely there. I am 13 inches forehead to nape. There's not a whole lot of stretch in the comfort cap because it is um, wefted in the clothes wefted in the back. So uh, they're stretching their circumference. I did not have to bring the circumference in for my 21 inch circumference. So I think this is gonna be for um, petite and uh, just average and slightly above average um, head sizes. So really, really pretty. Okay, let's look at her measurements. 10 inches here in the front, 14 inches at the crown, 14 inch sides and a 14 inch nape. So plenty of hair for styling, but again, you're gonna to wanna to watch your ends, especially on this nape, keep them combed out. Weight wise, 4.7 ounces. I don't, she doesn't feel like that at all. She feels light as a feather. So, okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of this comfort cap. Okay, so let's look at the inside of this cap. So here's your left mono part and then your extended lace front. Oh, I see. See, I should have looked at that more carefully. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just so excited to put it on. I knew it was going to be such a pretty style. So you have lace that goes, um, your ear tab is made of lace until you get to the very tip here where the um, metal is. So, and then that's felt with metal in there. So really nice. Great. That's why you got that great coverage around the face. I love that. 
I haven't even watched reviews on this or, or anything. So this was all new to me. So this is the hand tied portion, nice and soft. It's got that tool layer um, on it there. So, and then you have a closed wefted cap. And like I said, these closed wefted caps don't really have stretch. So um, this one is gonna be uh, you know, less stretchy than a wefted cap, open wefted cap. So extended nape with Velcro adjusters. Really nice. That ear tab is so interesting. So I'll show you. Not really very much stretch at all with these closed wefted caps, but there is some stretch in the circumference. Okay, let's take a look at this super interesting color. So this is their metallic blonde rooted. Uh, code wise, it's a 60, a 101, and a 51. So uh, you've got some silver in there, some white, and some platinum blonde, and then an ash brown root. They don't give a code for the ash brown root. So I don't know what that is, maybe a 10, maybe an eight, something like that. So, um, but anyway, uh, definitely an ash. Um, I would say this is a cool color all the way around. I don't really see warmth in it with the platinum and the white and the silver, um, which is nice for those of you that like a cool color, you know, um, I'm able to make it work. I really like, I knew that it was a color that I needed to wear black with. Um, so, you know, black and this has a little color in it. So, you know, not all black, but you could wear all black with it. But, you know, when I have a really white, white platinum like this, I usually will wear black or dark blue or something like that navy, you know, with it to uh, make it work with my skin tone better. So, so beautiful, beautiful color. So as you can see, you see that rooting there at the part. You see the rooting, not, not too much. You see it a little bit at the ear tab, but you've got lace front all the way down to here. So that's why you don't have quite as much. You can see the rooting, of course, through those lighter colors. And then anywhere the hair separates, you're gonna see that rooting color. So for styling and such, you know, um, with off the face and that kind of thing, you would see that rooting more, of course. So, and you're gonna see it at the nape and all that, so. I just think it's so interesting. So the silver, I see more at the nape. It just looks really neat. So it's like it has this under, you know, this underside color, but it does show, you know, as the, the way the hair falls, it does show, you know, but it's mostly the platinum on the outside, like on the outer, outer part. And then the under part down here is the, um, the silver. It just looks so cool. So this is a great color, like for me, as my hair gets like whiter and whiter, <laughs> but does have some brunette in it, you know? This is just such a neat color. Okay, let's take a look at it outside. Here we are outside with metallic blonde rooted. So as you can see, you see how light that root is out here? It's really not as dark as it looks inside. So there's your lace. And then here's that silvery color on the underside. So pretty. So overcast skies. So here you can really see the platinum. Then there's that silver. Ash brown rooting. Nice front. at glasses and styling and all that so again I can't stress enough I want you to comb in these heat friendly fibers out trying to keep those tangles out um, you can also use your like silicone spray on the nape just don't go too heavy with it um, I'm not a huge fan of a ton of product on wigs I the longer I've worn wigs on synthetics I'm just not the biggest fan of a lot of product but I do like like the uh, Raquel Welch restore spray and stuff like that I would probably spray this with some restore spray. But like I said, I think after one wear, I would probably go over this with my flat iron. So, um, cause you can see I'm having to get a tangle out right there. So, you know, just from go, going outside, wearing it for the review, flipping it around and stuff like that, you know, just, you just really want to keep these heat friendly fibers as tangle free as possible. So, um, and definitely fight those clumps with your heat tools. So, okay, so glasses styling, I mean, she's low density. No permatease anywhere that I can feel on this wig. So glasses are gonna be no problem. Up on your head, no problem, you know.
So really, really easy. She's gonna look cute with a headband. This 10 inch layer will stay back in the headband. So, and she's gonna, that 10 inch layer can be, you know, a bit of a face flopper initially. So a headband is a nice way to keep that back, you know, off your face. If you're outside or working or whatever, you know, you just wanna get that layer out of your face, so. But I don't know what you can't do with this style, to be honest. It's, this style has lots and lots of possibilities. So obviously she will go half up, half down. I feel like, yeah, this layer might wanna come down, but that looks pretty around your face anyway. And then obviously a ponytail, very doable, very easy, extended nape, great cap construction, low density. I mean, look how small the pony is. It looks so natural. I love it. And then of course you can braid, you can add curl. These are heat friendly fibers. So you can do some really beautiful, you know, updos and things like that with this one too. Another thing that I might do outside um, to keep these heat friendly fibers, you know, just from blowing around if I was gonna be out, you know, it's get, we're getting into the fall, we're getting into having more wind out, you know, is a headband and then a low pony. And that will kind of keep it from blowing around and getting too tangly, you know, outside, or maybe even a braid. Um, a braid is a great way to uh, keep those fibers, you know, together. A side pony would be cool because you'd be able to see that pretty underside, that silver with this color. It looks kind of cool. So anyway, those are just some things that I would do for styling. So, um, and of course, with this pretty lace front that extends so far, you know, and another thing you might want to do because this might flop in your face a little bit is just wear this off the face. Maybe get a little twist, a little braid, something like that. That would be cute. So really, really beautiful style. I just love it. So really like this one, Ellen Villa. <laughs> so thank you, Pinky Promise, for sending this wig to review for you all today. There'll be purchase information in the description box below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye.